Round five, hockey against Jasko. Another interesting fight. Certainly none of these come take your money and lie down, that's for sure. And Jasko has taken enough that he would could lie down and no one will blame him. Because Hawkins has been on this case almost from the start and he's very accurate. That point I was making, Dave, he's seldom off target with a shot, Hawking, which yeah. is amazing. He's very, very, very accurate. But that last range, I mean, it was... There was a lot of pressure on Yashkul there, and you have to give uh, the, the uh, Ukrainian guy credit because he stood up to the pressure that Hawking was coming forward, and he was landing with most of the punches that he was throwing out, the hooks to the body, the, the, the jabs, you know, the right hand, all were landing on target, and Yashkul took them all. And it was just pressure, pressure, pressure for that fifth round, and this is what we're seeing here now. We're seeing Stephen, young Stephen Hawking coming forward and very rarely missing with those punches. That, that's a really... Uh, Accurate that left jab, and we just it's never out of a uh, Yash Cool's face at all. And that right hand comes across, and it's a stinging right hand, not a devastating right hand, but it's a stinging punch, and it's doing a bit of damage. There's no doubt about that, as you can tell by Yash Max or Yash Cool's face because it's all all red and bruised and sore. Nearly right, Yash Max is right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you might need one of those. <laughs> but Hohian, the amazing, that's that straight left again, flush on the face of Yashkul, and another left hand, a hook to the body, and Yashkul can take shots, there's no doubt about that. Hohian has thrown a lot of stuff at him, he's hooked him, he's jabbed him, he's crossed his right hand, and still Yashkul is in there. I wouldn't say as fresh as a daisy, a wilting daisy maybe, but still plenty of pep, pep in him. He's very tough, Jim, there's he's no doubt about it, boy. those are good solid body shots at the... Uh, that Hawking is throwing their uh, left hook to the body and a real good solid right hand. So you have to give Yashko a lose of credit because he's here to fight, he's not here to run away, he's not here to lie down, he's here to take what's being thrown at him and he's doing it very well, there's no doubt about it. He can really take a good solid shot, this uh, young guy from uh, the, 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 the Ukraine. Next fighting interesting for the spectators because they know that although one man appears to be on top, there's no way that it's a gimme any of these things. And Yashkul has put up a wonderful fight, and I'm sure Stephen Hawking would be the first to admit that. But I'm back to this thing again. How that's one he's missed. Hawking missed with the left hand. That's so seldom he misses. Like a lot of boxers see punches flashing over the shoulders of the opponents, just missing the top of the head. But he's so accurate. That's the left again, followed by the right. Not all of them are scoring on target, mind you, been taken on the dose, but in the target area. He seldom seems to miss. What a cool boy this Yashkul is. Like he's taken everything by the corner stool of Hawking, and he's still in there, and he's still in there willing to attack. He has to take another right hand. Coming to the end of the penultimate round, it's Hawking's fight, unless he walks on thin ice. Second time, sixth and final round. Stephen Hawking made his professional debut in the King's Hall in Belfast in March 2005 and since then this is 13 fights he's had only defeat was last Saturday night in the same King's Hall but he's going to make up for it here tonight by the looks of things he's chasing Yashkul again as he has done for most of this fight leading with a left jab which has been taking up residence in the face and head of Yashkul but in fairness to the Latvian he's taken everything that that he could throw at him and is still standing there and willing to absorb some more tries an optimistic uppercut but uh, hockey wasn't there to receive it i'm not being biased here but i think that hockey has won every round so far jimmy and, and it's taken nothing away from uh Yashko because he's a very tough customer a very cool fighter you know and he's done very 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 well he's come here He's come here to fight, you know, he's come to win, but unfortunately he's not going to win, not unless he gets a big knockout, which I doubt very much, but Hawking, and without being biased, I would think has won every round so far. And only uh, just over a minute and 50 left in this one, and then he'll have another win, and it's great for him, because after the disappointment of the loss last Saturday, and it was very, very tight, a lot of people, including Dave here, thought he'd won it, uh, may have only lost in the last couple of rounds. The Italian himself, whom I talked to after, it said it was touch and go. He wasn't too sure. Neither did his twin brother. So it was that close for Hockeyan. But instead of feeling sorry for himself and sitting down and crying, uh, he's up here, up on his horse again, back to the stadium in Dublin and ready for more action. And in fairness to him, that puts him ahead on points in my book as a fighter for his start. And then as a boxer fighter, well, you see it for yourself. He's a good lad. 
and it looks like he's back on track again after that disappointment. And it's not easy to absorb the disappointment in life like he's had, but uh, he's able to get himself up and start all over again. Dustin Sutton. Oh, that's, that's a real good solid left hook to the body. You have to give Yash Kulik credit. Another good right hand from, from Hawking there. He's taken every punch and he's taken it well. But he was hurt there now for a couple of seconds. The right hands and by the, the left hook to the body. He's hurt but he's game. He's taken another left hand and he's taken a right hand. He doesn't deserve to be stopped now. That's for sure. He doesn't deserve to be stopped. I, want to, I really do want him to last the distance now, but it's going to be difficult for him as Hockeyan piles on the pressure. Half a minute to go, and Hockeyan going for the for the end before his time. The left has gone landing in his face again. David Irving having a very close look. Another left hand. Dave could stop this at any moment as Yashko steps into another right hand. It's not worth stopping it now. 13 seconds to go. It's a big, big finish again from Stephen Hockeyan. And he's going to win of that, there's no doubt about it. He's taking a rest and a, a deep inhalation there as he gets himself gathered up for another onslaught. <laughs> Bell goes, and that's the end of the fight. Akina Lukin, 54 points. Paul Truscott, 60 Hockey points. Won every round. Round. Paul Truscott. 60 to 54. The smile on his face. One oh, week after that big Stephen fight in Hockey Belfast. Yeah. He's a kid for the future. Well done, Stephen. And appreciation, please, of the Cash Cool. Well, there you go, Stephen Hockey, and back to winning ways after losing in Belfast last Saturday. Now, we had a local boy in action here at the stadium in Dublin this evening. A Dublin lightweight, Eddie Highland, against a Bulgarian opponent, a guy by the name of Vladimir Borov. We're joining this in round seven. Second out. Round right seven. at the top of the round, Emil Teat, the referee, tells both of them to mind the heads. Two rounds to go. Out goes the left jab again, repetitive, accurate. Three, four of them at the top of the round. All from Highland. You can see Borough there, he's keeping his, his hands well up, but, and, and that shows you, or lets you know that uh, that Highland's been having good success with, with his left hooks, you know, because that is a punch that, that has been doing all the damage here tonight. The left hook to the body, left hook to the head, and that good stiff left jab. And as you can see, uh, Borov's hands are very close together when he has them up high there because he doesn't want that jab getting to you. His face is now pretty well marked around, around the eyebrows and, and then around the eyes. So, like, Highland has been having great success with that jab.